I'm Shigeru. I'm 25 and I work from home, but my mom thinks I'm a shut-in. She was always yelling at me. I tried to explain to her that I wasn't a shut-in, but she never listened. I was starting to think about moving out. So hungry. The fridge is empty as usual. Ah, found some noodles! So I started eating some noodles. But then... You eating noodles again? It's the only thing I could find. I'd cook for you, but not until you get a real job. I told you, I work. I got a job. Huh, right, that's a good one. All you do is stay in your room all day. Get a job. How many times do I have to explain this to you? And look how fat you are. Go out there and get some exercise. You make me sick. Then she left the room. My parents owned a restaurant. It was on the first floor of the house. We lived on the second floor. I had a sister, but she was married and she didn't live with us. So it was just me and my parents here. Mom always told me to stay on the second floor. She didn't want the customers to see me. They barely kept any food in the house, so I never had anything to eat. The restaurant looked busy, so I decided to go help. But then... Shigeru, go back up there. I told you not to come down here. But you look busy. I just want to help. You'll scare the customers away. I know. You're trying to take over the restaurant. Not on my watch. What? No! Just go and get a job already. I do have a job. I'm not a shut-in. Ugh, whatever. I'm busy, okay? Get out of here. She was always like this. Fine, whatever! I went back to my room to work. Then I got a text from this girl that worked at the restaurant. Her name was Chika. Shigeru, don't listen to your mom. She just doesn't get it. We could have really used your help. She's so mean! Yeah, she never listens. It's a waste of time. You should stop talking to her. I know you're busy with work. Yeah, but I work from home, so my hours are pretty flexible. I just wanted to help. She's so mean to me. I hear ya. Thanks. And my sister is the same. She thinks I'm a shut-in, too. It's pretty sad. How old is she? Isn't she in her 20s? No, she's in her 40s already. Wait, maybe 30s? I don't know. You don't remember your sister's age? That's not good. She'll yell at you again. <laughs> yeah, don't tell her I said that. Need any help with your work? I'm free if you need any help. Sure, thanks. Chica's helped me with my work sometimes, and she knew about my parents too. She's been working here for a while now, so she was spending more time with them than I was. Whatever, I'm done trying to explain things to them. A few days later, my sister's husband passed away. They didn't even tell me why, they just told me he was dead. My husband died, but don't come to the funeral, okay? I don't want others to know that my brother is a shut-in. You got that? I'm not a shut-in! How many times do I have to tell you this? Stop lying! You stay home all day long! You're a shut-in. You make me sick. Right back at you. What did you say? Forget it. You don't seem upset. Why is that? Your husband just died. Shut up! Stay out of this! And I'm gonna move back in soon. I'm gonna get mom and dad to kick you out of the house. I don't want to deal with her anymore, so I left. And she didn't even seem sad about her husband. I really wanted to go to his funeral, but she said no. So, I didn't really have a choice. What's wrong with my sister? She was unbelievable. I'm home! I'm back! Two weeks after the funeral, she sold her old house and moved back in. Just great. Fantastic. Ugh! You shut in! You still here? Get a job already, you fat pig! I'm busy. I don't have time for this. Ha! That's a good one. You don't even have a job. Stop lying. Mom, do something about him. Yeah, get a job already. If not, get the hell out. Your sister's back, so she needs her space. Now get out of here. Let's ignore him. Yeah, Dad, I'm hungry. Hurry up. So now Mom had a powerful ally. I was pretty busy with work these days, so 
Maybe it's time for me to move out. Shigeru, Remy came home, right? Sorry to hear that. You okay? Not really. I didn't think she'd be back, so... If you need any help, just ask, okay? She was the only one on my side. Well, at least I wasn't alone. Hello! Welcome! Oh, I'm not a customer. Here, this is my card. Um, do you think I can write an article about this place? He's so handsome! He looks rich, too! Time to make a move! Hello, I'm in charge here. How can I help you? Oh, okay. Um, I run a website for foodies. I was wondering if I could write an article about this place. Of course! Give me your number. I'm the one in charge here, so you gotta go through me, okay? How old are you, Kenta? I'm 32. Why does that matter? Oh, nothing. Sounds good. Okay. When will you be back? Come back later tonight. I'll buy you a drink. She's pathetic. She was trying to seduce him. It was pretty obvious. <laughs> Sucks to be him. My sister is such an idiot. Hey, Kenta. Yes? Where do you live? Maybe we can hang out at your house. Uh, I gotta go. Kenta ran off, but... Remy kept going. She was out of control. He's the one. I just know it. I'm so lucky. I'm the best. A few days later, Kenta came back. Kenta, hey, I thought you were coming over at night. You couldn't wait to see me, huh? Here we go again. Can't believe I'm related to her. Uh, I'm here to take some pictures. Uh, can I order some food? Give me the most popular dish here. Okay. Hey, get us some food here. Hurry. She was acting like she was the boss. She never did anything, though, and she was working her mom like a dog. She seemed exhausted. Here you go. Eat up. Want me to be in the picture, too? Oh, uh, no thanks. Come on, let's take a selfie together. It's okay. Um, could you move, please? Of course. Hey, let's go out to dinner after this. She just kept going on and on like this. Kenta didn't want her company, but she didn't care. Then when Kenta wrote the article about the restaurant, customers started flooding in. There was even a line outside. My parents were really excited about this. But one day, uh, Remy's son came into my room and started messing with my things. I had a lot of computers in my room. What's this? Why do you need these? Let's see what happens when I smash the screen. Stop! That's really expensive! You'll get in trouble! No, I won't, Tubby! Mom hates you! She won't care! Stop! Shut up! Go get a job, you shut-in! We all want you out of the house! Oh, I know! I'll kick you out with my special powers! Stop! He ran towards one of the computers, but he tripped on some cables and fell! Ah! What's going on? What did you do to him? I didn't do anything! He tried to break one of my computers and fell! How dare you! This is all your fault! Take that! She started kicking my computers. Stop! What are you doing? Mommy! I was so scared! See? He's crying! What's wrong with you? Get out of here! Now! Fine! I'm sick of this! I'll move out tomorrow! You better! Ah! Finally! Took you long enough! I was getting pretty sick of this, so I decided to move out. Shigeru, is your computer okay? You heard about that already? Yeah, that kid is out of control. Whatever. What do you expect? He's her son. Anyways, I'm moving out of here tomorrow. Finally! I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, I've been really busy lately. Can you help me? Sure, I'd love to. Thanks. Once I got a new place, I'll let you know. Cool. So I started packing up my things. The next day, I left the house. My family seemed happy about this. But then, something unexpected happened. We're losing customers like crazy. What's going on? Yeah, with him gone, we should be getting more customers. What are we going to do? Want me to text Kenta? Yeah, make him write another article or something. So she texted Kenta. Kenta, we're losing customers. Help me. But Kenta ignored her. I actually started working with him to expand my business. My family's restaurant was losing business by the day, but 
not my problem. And one day, I got a call from the police. Remy, is she your sister? What is this about? She's been arrested for stalking someone. She told us to call this number. Uh, I want nothing to do with her. Bye. She kept calling me, but I ignored her. Why the hell would I help her? What an idiot. So, turns out she was trying to get with Kenta, but he refused, but she just kept going. Then she started stalking him and harassing him, and she finally got arrested. I called Kenta to apologize. I heard about Remy. I'm truly sorry. Oh, that, don't worry about it. This has nothing to do with you, so... Thanks. Hey, I want to talk to you about a new project. Same here, but I'm out in the countryside right now for another project. Sounds exciting. <laughs> you thinking about going abroad? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'll keep you updated. Thanks. I really enjoyed working with Kenta, so I was afraid he might not see me anymore after everything that happened with my sister. Well, thank goodness that wasn't the case. Anyways, things went back to normal after that. The restaurant got its customers back. Everyone worked nonstop to keep the place going. Well, everyone except for Remy. She did nothing. She just played on her phone all day long. I hated her so much. Welcome. I read about this place on Kenta's socials. Ah, oh, thank you. He's working with Shigeru, right? That's so exciting. I'm so happy to be here. Shigeru? What the? Hey, uh, did you say Shigeru? What were you talking about? Shigeru, he's the guy that saves the restaurants. You don't know him? Him and this other guy named Kenta. They worked together on this place a few months ago. Shigeru? Yeah, him. He's so handsome. He's got a lot of fans. The other day when he went out in the city, hundreds of fans chased after him. I already had to call the cops to get home. He's like the most famous person on the internet right now. Oh, I see. Thanks. Enjoy your meal. After she found out about me, she did something unexpected. Someone was at my door. Who could that be? Shigeru, hey! Look at this place. I didn't know you lived here. You're making a lot of money, huh? Help us out again. Come on! No. What? Stop being mean! I'm busy. I got no time for this. Can you leave now? How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your mother. Whatever, we're done here. If you want to hire me, call my manager. You can show yourself out. Wait up, you shut-in. You don't get to talk to mom like that. Come back here. Yeah, just do it. Help us out. We're going to lose the store soon. Oh, and can you wire us some money? $20,000 would do. You're kidding me, right? After all those things you said to me? I'm not a shut-in, okay? I got a pretty successful business. So screw you both! I never want to see you two again! Get the hell out! Shut up! Come back! Get out! Don't ever come back here! So they left. I thought they gave up, but I was naive to think that. That fat bastard! I'm gonna get him! It's over, dear. We're finished. No, Mom. We got a thing. You were trying to figure out a way to get back at me. I know. I'll pretend to be Shigeru online. And I'll introduce this place to my followers. Then this place will be packed again. You can do that? Easy. I got this. Just watch. She was crazy. The next day, she started promoting the restaurant using my name. The customers flooded in. The media came to my house to interview me. This can't be good. So I struck back and told the media about everything. What have you done? I just told them the truth. We're losing customers like crazy because of you. You did this to yourself. What did you think was going to happen? Do something. We got no customers. And our online shop isn't making any money either. Huh? Uh, I shut the website down months ago. What the hell? Why did you do that? It's my website. I thought it was Chica's website. No, she helped me out, but it was mine. No, no! Fine, I apologize, okay? Please help me. It's not too late. I told you if you want to hire me, talk to my manager. But my schedule is pretty full, so... What? Come on! Give me a break! After the way you treated me, get out of here! Oh, by the way, 
You still owe me money for that computer you broke. I'll pay. Just come back and help us. That thing costs more than $10,000. You got that kind of cash? Stop lying. I'm not lying. I bought it for work. It was really expensive. Ugh, just get out of here. I never want to see you again. Go. She kept calling me afterwards, but I just ignored her. After the way they treated me, I wasn't going to help them. They can rot in hell for all I care. Forget them. It's time to move on and live my life. My parents ended up losing the business. They sold the house and moved to the countryside or something. My sister now had nowhere to go. I heard she's a hostess now or something. I kind of felt bad for her kid, but oh well, not my problem. Chica was out of a job too, so I decided to hire her at my company. She was brilliant. Then a few years later, we got married. She was my first crush, actually. <laughs> I was so happy. I'm gonna do everything I can to make her happy. Don't forget, hard work always pays off.